Hello, my name is Jordan Halsey, and I am the chief officer at an orange store, uh, my company that specializes in Houdini production. I created an orange door about two and a half years ago, three years ago after leaving another job so that I could focus primarily on the things that I was most interested in, which was mostly experiential R&D projects, projects that involved virtual reality or augmented reality. And I wanted to be able to be more diverse and to um, work with other people. So I was hired by uh, my friend's company, Master of Shapes, to work on VR go-karts, which was a virtual reality driving experience that we were tracking the drivers in the real world and then having them interact with a virtual environment in real time uh, using Unreal Engine. My name is Adam Emerald. I'm creative director at Master of Shapes. One of the tricky things of matching this digital and physical world is you know, there's a safety concern, right? We want to make sure that a car can get through here and not actually hit anything you weren't expecting a hit. We had a LiDAR scan of the track. Basically, the level was built completely off of one spline that was basically computed from the center of the track that we got from the LiDAR. So what we found is there was some subtle discrepancies here and there. And instead of having to like go back to the drawing board, remodel a whole level, we would just instantly adjust the spine and adjust the whole map in game. So the next track test we do, we're perfectly seeing an updated map that reflects the LiDAR scan we adjusted to. So the ability to have this one spline that kind of proceduralized and built up the whole street surfaces and all of the, the surrounding things around that uh, was very powerful and saved us an enormous amount of time. Once we had the whole digital world and physical world matched up perfectly, you know, we need to populate with assets quickly. All the buildings uh, were procedurally built with a series of procedural tools that I've developed over the years. I had a tool that would, could build a variety of signs, whether it was billboards or roof signs, it could have text. So we could just change out the font to like an Asian font, type in the text that we want. And these would be UV'd automatically and ready to go in the game engine within a minute. Someone could work within the game engine and be making signs and placing these in the world within minutes without having to worry about UV maps or anything along those kinds of lines. Essentially, we used Houdini to build a level that would normally take us maybe three to four weeks, and we did it in one week. And the, the other variable with that is, you know, we're making experiences. So while you're normally just testing a, you know, a final game or something that you can run through constantly, in our case, we learn from seeing people experience our experiences. So as we learned and tested this system and figured out timings, we were able to use Houdini to adjust level design, adjust sections of the course to make timing feel better all on the fly. And that's important to me because, you know, until you feel this stuff, it's kind of hard to know what it's like. So it was really fun to use that as a tool. I teach Houdini at USC in the School of Cinema Arts, and I've noticed that the students respond very well to Houdini because they get immediately an understanding that if they want to build up complexity or diversity, Houdini gives them that tool set better than any other application. And it kind of frees you from some of the more tedious kind of technical work like repetitive UV mapping or all these kinds of things that, that you have to do over and over in other applications as you're developing your assets, where the procedural approach from Houdini kind of frees you from those technical constraints, allowing you to focus on the creative aspects of what you're doing. And the students that I have have responded very, very well to that workflow, and many of them have shifted their working application to Houdini.